And we're back on Halftime Report. I'm Bob Pisani with today's ETF Edge. It's often said that software has eaten the world, but it's not the only investable asset. Some argue that hard assets like real estate and infrastructure are an important diversifier away from technology. Let's talk with Dan Foley. He's CBRE Investment Management Portfolio Manager for the newly launched IQ CBRE Real Estate Asset ETF. The symbol is IQRA. This is an actively managed equity strategy invest in globally uh, assets tied to real assets, infrastructure, and real estate. Dan, you launched this a month ago uh, in the midst of this tech frenzy, yeah. but you've been making a case on the rounds, uh, on the talk shows and everything. You say inflation makes hard assets a great investment. Make that case. Yeah, look, I think the reality is, you know, investors, including large institutions, are allocating the real assets for that inflation hedging, you know, profile. Um, and it's important in today's world, clearly. We think that a real assets investment needs to contemplate the right form of real assets, and we see the opportunity in areas like real estate and infrastructure. It's a long story. We've heard this many times, but now we're seeing higher interest rates, and they seem to be impacting the real estate market. REITs are down this week on concerns of higher rates. Uh, they're notable underperformers. Treasuries uh, are creeping towards the higher end of their recent range. Uh, we had Nassim Talib on this morning, uh, the author of The Black Swan. He was on Squawk Box this morning saying, to be careful about real estate and hard assets because they were unstable because of higher rates, potentially. Is this, this concern you? You're launching this now, making a claim for hard assets. Yeah, we, we view, I think, the other side of that, which is the opportunity, right? That kind of environment has led to very discounted valuations. You're trading at 20% discounts and at asset value, on asset values are already written down. History tells us these assets will significantly outperform and offer the opportunity for double-digit type upside. Uh, in the go forward. And alongside that, you have very long term growth, digital transformation, decarbonization. These are areas that are influencing the outcomes of these companies, and we think is an opportunity investors should have more exposure to. I want to just show them what's in this fund. It's got real estate companies, uh, public storage. There's an obvious one. That's a longtime favorite for a lot of people. Uh, it's uh, got, That's a big read. It's got infrastructure plays uh, like Crown Castle that's out there. Uh, you see Next Era Energy um, and you see Equinix. We had the CEO on uh, today, data centers right there, WC Energy Group. I don't see any real commodities, though. I don't see Freeport MacMoran. Uh, I don't see oil stocks. So uh, why are commodities sort of left out of a hard asset portfolio? That's right. We think investors should have the best form of real assets. And the risk and return profile over time, we think, has been best suited within real estate and infrastructure. We think the opportunity set is the biggest and brightest in those areas of the market. And that's why we're focused there. And, and you know, again, some of the areas, those names you named, you know, these are the 800-pound gorillas in, in their space, leaders in decarbonization, you know, digital transformation, um, best-in-class balance sheets. These are not the kinds of real estate, I think, that headlines are making people afraid of, and we see a differentiated outcome for this. But commodities companies. are classic hard asset. I'm not trying to be argumentative, but sure. your, uh, Freeport owns copper, for example. And yeah. Are you saying these underperform, or you want more high-tech, newer stuff like a, a REIT, for example, an infrastructure? We want hard assets that are cash-flowing. Right, that provide an income, that provide an outsized income component to your total return. And we think that's given the best ride over time, and we think that's still the case uh, going forward. Okay, we're going to have a lot more on this discussion about hard assets as an alternative investment to technology that's coming up on ETF Edge, 1.10 p.m. today, Eastern Time. Now, Dan's going to be joined by Tom Leiden, the Vetify vice chairman. We'll talk about how the rise in interest rates may be affecting ETFs. And we'll also talk about that spate of new Bitcoin ETF filings. What's going on there? ETFedge.cnbc.com. Scott, back to you.